have we, very funny, very surreal, <laughs> have we ever seen anything like this before? I, I don't, don't think, know. No, we haven't so. quite. It's a very unusual piece. It's, mm. But uh, that's, I think, the joy of it. It's, yeah. Yeah. So what's the story? Tell us the story. This is based on a book um, by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. That's right. Uh, it's called Good Omens, and yep. it's about... Uh, uh, Michael plays the angel Aziraphale, and I play the demon Crowley. We've been on Earth since the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been uh, each other's respective head offices re representative on Earth, but over the millennia, they decide... Or they come to realise that actually they've got more in common than they have apart. So despite the fact that they come from opposite ends of the mm. spectrum, yeah. they end up becoming sort of firm they friends. quite like each other, really. They do. Yeah. Did you fight over the, the parts, I mean, as to who would be good and who would be bad? Well, I, I, the, the, the demon Crowley has to be very cool and have a swagger. And the... David, there's no one better <laughs> than David <laughs> to do that. And there's no one more intrinsically good than Michael <laughs> Sheen. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I, he's, a, he's a worried angel. He gets very yeah. stressed and, and worried about things, so that, that sort of suited me. Yeah. But also, neither of them are... You know, as, we, as, from the, as you might have gleaned from the setup, I'm not a particularly bad demon, and you're not a, no. a, an altogether good We're angel. We're sort of terrible at what we do. Yeah. Yes. They, it's they... all slightly camp, isn't it? There's something like a, in, a, in a very happy-go-lucky way. I mean, it's, it's, it isn't scary, is it? Well, they, they, they didn't get there. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So their mission, their mission is to stop the end of the world by finding yes. this baby, Antichrist. this child. Well, I yes, I as a representative of hell on earth, I get charged with delivering the Antichrist to the order of the chattering nuns. Lovely chattering hence nuns. Uh, hence yeah. them. Here they are. <laughs> uh, In order to bring about the end. Exactly. Times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but I slightly, well, myself and the nuns slightly mess it up. So then we set out to a because we're quite liking the mortal world, you see. We've lived on it. For... We sort of love it. We like a nice glass of wine, yeah, yeah. nice meal, mm. um, and we've sort of fallen in You've love with the world. You've had 6,000 years of it, haven't you? Yeah. 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 You get used to it, I think, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. fall in love with the world. Do they slightly fall in love with each other? Is this well, a kind of love story? It's sort ish? of. A, it, well, it's a, it's a, it's a buddy uh, story, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But they've, they, no one knows what it's like to be them. They've been on Earth all this time, and so they've sort of bonded together. And I, as the angel and a being of love. Um, I certainly love him. Mm. Does he love me? He wouldn't possibly comment on that. <laughs> that would be far too... Uh, uh, you no, know, far too demonstrative. Yeah, but, yeah. Guys, but, uh, but they've only got each other as well. Yeah. You know, they're these, as these two supernatural creatures. Yeah. People, you know, will be seeing you two for many people, for the first time, I have to ask you, have you ever acted together before? Because, you know, as two of the top actors the country has produced, I think this is very exciting for folk. Well, it's very exciting for us, because we, we haven't. We were in a film together... How, how, 15 years ago? It must have been, yeah. But not, but not in a single frame together. Um, Stephen Fry's Bright Young Things. Mm. Have you ever been sent up for the same part? Oh, probably. I think, pro I think that's the thing. It's yeah. that we're probably up for a lot of the same parts. So if one gets it, then the other one's not going to be in it. So yeah. it's a rare uh, experience to be able to actually be together in this. And it's been an absolute it's joy and a good. pleasure. Yeah. Any, any plans to repeat it, uh, to, to work ag together again? Or... Well, it is, yeah, it, does, it is tempting, isn't it? Oh, it like, what is. would it be? Well, this is a one-off thing. It's a one book yeah. and it's yeah. an adaptation yeah. of six episodes. But, um, yeah, now that I've had a, yeah. a taste of, uh, of working with David, I, would, I only want to work it with like David. Yeah. watching each other? Well, you've obviously seen each other's work, but never actually been on yeah. set together. Well, the, so I, is it a strange thing, kind of watching... Genuinely, the, the hardest thing about working with David is, as, I'm, as we're doing a scene together, I, I'm just there going... Oh, that's very good. <laughs> well, and I forget to say my lines. <laughs> so that is the hardest thing about it. it it's fun, though. It's fun, you know, when, you, when you're working with someone that's genuinely inspiring, you kind of go, oh, this is yeah. fun. I like mm. being on set. This is yeah. great. But you see, you, Michael, um, you're appearing in something I never thought I would see you uh, appear in mm. with Alan Carr on Sky One, yes. on the, uh, the movie... There's the something movie. about movies. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I love watching this kind of stuff and talking about films. And I love Alan. And, and it was a chance to bring actors and stand-up Comedians so, together. Are you a team to talk. Captain? So I'm a team captain. Oh. Me and Mickey Flanagan are the team captains, and Alan hosts it. And we do, we just sort of spend an hour is talking nonsense. Man, I could watch. And Mickey then we Flanagan recreate scenes, scenes from the scenes. movies. Oh, from do you? Talking about recreating, you know the story about his dad, do you? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Well, a lot of people won't know this. Tell us about your dad and Jack Nicholson. Well, a very long time ago, when I was in drama school, so we're talking late 80s, early 90s, and people started coming up to my dad in the street and saying, you look exactly like 
Jack Nicholson. And my dad thought they meant the golfer, Jack Nicholson. He didn't <laughs> really know Jack Nicholson. Was. And it was around the time that those the first Batman movies were coming out, the Tim Burton ones, where Jack Nicholson played yeah. the Joker. And so that eventually led to him getting uh, an agent and then working all over the world as a Jack Nicholson lookalike. And you've then been David Frost and you've yeah. been Brian Clough and you've been Tony Blair umpteen times. Yeah. There must have been a bit of dad influence there. Well, I've always said that what my dad uh, lacks in specificity, he makes up for in commitment. Yeah. So into, I, I think I've taken after him in that respect. I throw <laughs> myself into things. We're talking of dad, am I right that your son is now an actor? He so is, he's following yeah. your footsteps. Yeah, he's in that uh, movie Tolkien that's out yeah. now. Were you and, and your wife, his mum, at all and worried about together. that? Were you thinking, you know, it's not the easiest it's bit not, when you've done very well? Yeah, it's not the easiest profession. And, you oh, you you know, you want... But it, it, it's also very difficult. You know, it's been a nice life for us, so it's hard to kind of go, no, you will not. <laughs> we and get a proper job. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, obviously, we're thrilled. And, and he's, he's really good. And you wanted to be an actor. You said, oh, yeah, yeah, really yeah. young. It's only really relatively recently that Ty... I don't know how long he was harbouring it, not, not admitting it yeah. to us. It's only in the last handful of years that he said, I, you know, I want to give it a go. Yeah. And he, he's, he's brilliant. So, I, you know, all power to him. All power to him. And uh, if anybody can grant the power, it can be the, the bad angel and the, the good <laughs> angel. Uh, good Omens is available on Amazon Prime Video from this weekend. There's six it. episodes. That's it. Yeah, and it's a, a great box set type thing uh, yeah. to watch. And um, sisters, thank you very much indeed as well. Thank you. Lovely, there they are. Look at them. Look at them. Chattering and, them. And let me just say, so they has the Antichrist been placed with them, or they placed the Antichrist in the wrong place? Is that what they did? Yeah, they're they're not they're not uh, nuns in the they're they're a, an order of satanic nuns. Yes, um, and they're not. It turns out they're not particularly efficient at <laughs> delivering the Antichrist to the right birthing room. That's okay. really where it all starts. Oh, but the funny thing is, they put, did they not place the Antichrist in Oxford or something? Should... There's a yes. There's a there's a. Uh, it's next to a naval base in Oxford. You you have to you have to watch. You have to watch. Yeah. It's all a bit complicated. Yeah, it. yeah, it's an absolute pleasure Thank to talk you. to you. Uh, you. You might want to hang around. We've got Michael Pale and more acting oh, roles. I met I met him backstage. Yeah. I met Michael Pale. Very excited. Because they're old pals. Oh, <laughs> 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 all us Michaels stick together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>